Three, two, one, boom, and we are back with another episode of Socratic Gamers. Uh, a little bit of a four-week hiatus, but we are back now, strong, given that Vish has come back from India, so he's spiritually revamped and ready for action. So, tell us, Vish, how was India? That was good. It was pretty great. Oh. Um, uh, took the train, visited a lot of different places, went to my cousin's wedding. Uh, they got sick near the end. <laughs> yeah, so for you, you, whoever's listening, and you're like, oh, like Vish sounds kind of messed up right now. He got pretty sick at the end of the trip and uh, ended up not even coming back to the apartment for like a week. Over a week? Yeah, I think a couple of weeks. Yeah, a couple of weeks. You weren't, like, you were already in Canada, but you were like at the apartment. I needed to recover. Because it's like, it's the time zone shift too. So in mid, like, through the flight, I was sick, and then, uh, then you got to adjust to the time zone so your body's not prepared for all that stuff right so you're just getting bombarded over and over with like uh yeah. stressors and stuff right yeah. so like uh was it because you're in india that you got sick like is there something specific that made you sick uh i don't know what it is um it just could be just that someone was just like cut, cut off food from somebody so yeah. you're you're saying that it's not like because like it's kind of ironic that people are like oh when you go to a third world country you gotta be you gotta be careful because you can get sick and then like you're like oh, but super that, i think when they they talk about it was more like a stomach flu or some something like that yeah for sure for sure but no yeah. i didn't get in a stomach flu oh okay it was just like like regular like yeah, cough yeah, yeah. cough sick yeah oh okay that's not bad so uh what, what was the highlight of uh your your experience in india like like is it because I know you go back uh, a few times. Yeah. And uh, you've been, you just came back. When was the last time you went back before this? this I time? think it was like four years ago. Four, four years, five ago? years ago? Four years ago. Did you like notice that. like a big difference in, in Indian culture? Well, I didn't go all over India. So like the main focus was in Bangalore or also known as Bengaluru. Uh-huh. Cause Is that it, where the tigers are from? Bang, Bangalore, t- Bengal tigers? No, they're, no, we're south. Oh, okay. Bengal tigers are in the north. Oh, okay, never mind. Yeah. Uh, no, there's nothing to do with... Uh, the name has nothing to do with the, uh, the tiger names. Like, is from Bengal is a different different place. Oh, okay, okay. All right, I see what you're saying. Uh, uh, so, yeah, I was mainly in the city. Uh, and one in the, in the, uh, to the wedding was outside of the city. Uh-huh. Uh, actually, it's about a... Um, so, so in case you're wondering, like, what he's talking about wedding. So, uh, your whole mission for going back was because you had to go to like a family wedding. Yeah, and my stuff, cousin's yeah. wedding. But while there, you got to see a bunch of cool stuff, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. well, uh, visiting family, right? Right, right, right. Because I have family all over. Oh, okay. Oh, so and you traveled the whole? Not the whole, because most of the people were going to come to the wedding. wedding so okay, cool. I was able to see them at the wedding. Okay. Uh. Uh. Then. Then we came back to Bangalore and we did like a city tour. Oh, nice. Uh, so I learned a little bit more of the city, which I didn't know about. Okay, so... So like, basically, Bangalore is a British... The British gave that name, right? The original name was by this uh, some king before, which was what they changed the name to now. Isn't that to a little... Bangalore. Isn't that a little weird, though? Like, the British called it Bangalore, but you've never heard Bangalore as a British term? Like, I would expect it to be like... Like St. John's. No, no, no. You know what I mean? Like, no, no, no. They weren't. I, I think they're going off what it is, but something to what they can say easy. I don't oh, know. Oh, I see. So it's like Bengaluru, and there's like, man, it's too difficult. Bangalore. Yeah, like, I don't know the reasons why they change it, but. Okay, okay, yeah. But there was many. It's not like only the British had taken over before. There was the, the I think, the Mongol Empire, all that stuff. Oh, no way. The Mongols went to India and took it over? Yeah, yeah they were there. Oh, I didn't know that. All right, that's cool. They hung out there. <laughs> So then would you say that, like, India's culture is very, like, mixed? Yeah, know? it's mixed, yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. Uh, but um, it's mixed. There's a lot of Muslims there, too, right? So that's came with the Mongol Empire. Okay, so actually, actually, this is great. So you're talking about, like, Muslims and stuff. Um, I'm, I'm really curious about this. So, like, a lot of people who go to India, they always talk about Rishikesh, right? They're like, oh, this is, like, the spot for spirituality is Rishikesh. But it's, like, that's, like, a jaded, like, a one-sided, not jaded. That's, like, a one-sided view upon, like, what India is. Yeah. So what I want to know is, like, what is India really like from a person that's, like, there and he's gone back a few times? It's sort of like if you were to say, like, oh, the Philippines is, like, going to Boracay, which is, like, the tourist island. And right, it's right. Like, that's not, yeah, but that's not 
that's really what it's like. Yeah, no, yeah, they're, right? exactly. they're normal people. They have jobs. They have the normal things that we do here. It's the same. Thing. Exactly, exactly. So like, so when they talk about how spiritual like India is, it's like, yeah, spirituality. Well, I don't. You tell you attest to mm-hmm. it. Like, what is spirituality like in India? Like, is it is it predominant there? Not like, did you see a lot of it there? No, I mean, I think the same way anywhere else is how religious people are. That's all it is. Oh, okay, cool. I don't see, I don't, in my opinion, I don't see anything else different um, versus to, like, you go to, I don't know, somewhere in the U.S. or, like, crazy Christians. Right, right, right. But it's the same thing. Did you encounter that while you were in India? Uh, I did not encounter that, no. Okay, you so there you go. don't see any, like, religious fanatics. That's not, the, that's not what happens generally. But okay. there are people like that somewhere. Oh, okay, okay. In, in the city, you're not going to see that, right? Right, 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 right. So, so what what was it like? What was your experience like? Was it very like? It's, it's like a vacation. It's just going back to see family. That's all what it is to me. Okay, okay. No, but like, okay, so like I don't. So I'll, I'll I'll pose you one from my experience. So like, when I go to the Philippines and I visit like the island place, I'm like, oh, it's more it's more collectivist, right? Everyone's like, super into like helping one another out. And, like, oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's there in the villages. The city is different, right? Oh, okay. A city yeah, yeah. is a city like any other place. Oh, okay. So they're very like westernized then. Uh, in some form, yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of the young people are. That okay, is, that is true. So do you, um, you know, in like a uh, Catholic school, like because I went to Catholic school and they like they did like a lot of uh, grace before meals and stuff. Mm-hmm. Did you see like a lot of that like blessing before you eat or just, like like what was the spiritual connotations in India? Uh, like, or were there none? You know, it's like oh no, it's just like going to McDonald's. No, but I think that, that depends on the family though. Each family has a different way of expressing their religion in, 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 in that, right? Uh, okay. The food thing is not like everyone... Everyone may do that or have respect for the food that they're eating. Of course, yeah. Generally. But, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, it's not like exactly similar, but there are certain similarities to other religions, right? Okay, okay. So, um... Let's, let's say that. <laughs> so, so uh, uh, another thing is like when you uh, go to Thailand, okay? Mm-hmm. And you go to like... Um, and you go to like the the village side, like one of the one of the greetings is like Saudi cup. Like when you see them, like Saudi cup, mm-hmm. you know, it, it's some sort of like blessing. It's like hello and like bless you or something right. like that. Is there some of that stuff like in India? Well, of course, the main famous one is Namaste. Right? Oh, they say that all the time, like Namaste, as you're like buying something. Mm-hmm. Oh, when I'm buying something. No, like it's um, what I'm saying is like in Thailand they'll say it like as you enter the store, you know. Because it's a very, like, very, like, Buddhist, um, mm-hmm. you know, uh, religious. Like, I'm just wondering if, like, the, the assumption we have about India is that it's very, like, um, it's very, like, traditional and very spiritual. Or is it actually not like that anymore? And that's just, like, a pre-assumption that people have, which is incorrect. Uh, I think that it is quite traditional in the villages. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Um, but in the city, it's not as much like that. Okay. Um, I think it's very modern, especially in Bangalore, because it's known as their Silicon Valley. Oh no way! Yeah. Oh, that's kind of cool. The Silicon Valley of India. Yeah. Okay. So you're gonna get all sorts of people from all over India to to go in that city. So you're gonna have. It's not gonna be the same. As it is when you're in a village where you only you know a few people or you right, know those, right, the people, right, so you're right, more right. collective in that way. Right. This is like some people have other viewpoints, like oh, you know, in, our Bangalore is getting destroyed because there's so many people coming from all over, right. different cultures that don't understand right, the right, city. Right. Okay. The, that that location, right? Right, 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 right. So, so speaking of that, then is do you know that, do you find that there's like a disconnect between somebody who understands something rationally and somebody who understands something from like a naive perspective where it's like, okay, so you're saying these people in the villages are still very spiritual, right? Mm-hmm. And it's like, yeah, but they're not in the Silicon Valley because the people in the Silicon Valley, they're, they're obsessed with progression and like yeah. rational thinking and mm-hmm. like, you know, they're like, what's the science behind this? Cause I have to create something, yeah, yeah. you know, like technological. Whereas like in the village, it's like, of course you would, um, jump towards more of like a an easier understanding because you don't want right. to like mess with your you know like you don't want to think too hard mm-hmm. you know what i mean did you like do you do you think that that could be the case as to why like, uh, it could be the say? case could be the case but it's not all over it's uh in certain areas of that city right 
Okay. Because like, yeah. then you do have subdiv- like subdivision where there's homes and stuff where I was staying. Right. Okay. Um, yeah. But you, they get to know their neighbors is more. Right. Right. Because it's a small location. Yeah. yeah it makes sense. It makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. So what? Um, actually, before we move on, like I noticed that because uh, I've been watching like a lot of UFC, and I was thinking about this as well. It, it like ties into uh, your village thing. How um, all the fighters they like to thank God, right? They're like, oh, God is great. Like it, this happened because of God. Blah blah blah. And it's like, yeah, because you're a fighter. You don't need to think critically past how do I beat this dude up. Mm-hmm. You know, you just need a belief system which will carry you through the training camp and yeah. into the fight. Yeah. You know, it's like it's just like the people in the villages. It's like you just need enough to survive. It's like, yeah. why do I have a hardship? Rather than thinking about it, it's just like, let me just keep fishing, you know? Mm-hmm. And then God will take care of the rest yeah, yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. So uh, what what was your – you were talking about, like, uh, you went to, like, a tour of, like, some temple before? Uh, tour of a temple? Those uh, – you were telling me, like, last night about, uh, about like, you your feed cut out. Oh, no, that was, that was the museum. Oh, okay. Well, what was the museum about? Uh, well, the museum was and it's on a Monday. So they're closed on Mondays. Oh, so you went? But they have stuff on the outside of the museum. Okay, cool. Uh, certain statues, certain, um, like, stone-carved drawings of certain time cultures. Right, okay. Throughout India. Nice. And the one, the name that kept coming up, which I recognized, was Hoysala. Oh, okay. <laughs> and oh, I'm, like, I'm yeah, like, oh, wait, yeah. I know this name. Nice. This is from our charted. Well, it's not from our charted. Uncharted is taking it from there. Right, right, right. But it was made popularized in uh, on the Uncharted series, Lost Legacy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And they kept talking about the Hoysala culture, and okay. like that's what I kept seeing, like the the, the stone carvings of these kinds of people. Right. And, yeah. And what I sense, I don't know if it's fully true, but it's like uh, during the Hoysala culture, the, the art got more like uh, more detailed oh, in their okay. stone carvings versus the older ones before that. Why is that? I, I don't know. They just got better at it. I don't know. I'm better not sure. Tools. Yeah. Okay. Better tools, sense. maybe. And, and yeah. Um, but that was cool to see, like all these, just different, um, stone carvings. That's what they had, like st- set up outside. At some, nice. In some garden. So I was able to do that, and since the museum was closed inside. Oh, okay. Yeah. You, you know um, what's interesting about like it getting better is like um, what we tend to forget about is we think of like east and west as being completely separate, but. Um, the Romans and like the Greeks would often travel to like India and share their knowledge as well. So yeah. like maybe that's why it. The world was uh, the world was a lot more open. It was yeah yeah we 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 don't think of it like that because there's no planes right yeah. but like actually they were actually doing a lot of trade and like a lot of sharing of knowledge. That's why a lot of the mythologies can be like seen as being similar. Yeah, you know. So yeah. Um, oh, oh, there was another thing I was gonna ask you about uh, the Hoysalas. Uh, oh, oh, the different versions of Indian. So, like, um, you're saying how, like, uh, there's, like, brown, and then there's, like, Asian Indian. You showed me, like, videos right before this. Yeah, the Northeast Indians, yeah. Yeah, so, okay, can you go into that? Because that was a trip. It's, like, you think, when you think of Indian people, you're, like, okay, they're, like... Brown skin. Brown skin, yeah. yeah. Brown skin and, like... Um, no, there's there's all, there's all sorts. There's actually, um, when, when the British came, also, they left uh, their African... Uh, oh, no way. Slaves, I guess, they had at the time. Okay, yeah, And yeah. when the British left, they left them in India. So they're Indians now, too. Oh, I see. Oh, so it's sort of like being, like, Guyanese, when people are like, oh, I'm Guyanese, and then you, like, you see a Chinese Guyanese person, you see, like, a brown Guyanese person, yeah, you yeah, see yeah. a black Guyanese person, you're like, okay, what is Guyanese? It's like being Canadian, mm-hmm. you know? Is that, like, India, too? Uh, not everywhere, right? Because when I, when I was talking about, like, the... And they don't like saying Chinese looking Indians. They, they oh, really? don't want, no, no, no. That's so that's racist. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay so what do you call them? No, they're just they're Indians. They want to be just called Indians. Okay, but, but they, they look they, like what? the way. Yeah, they. There's a variety of Indian types of looking, right? So wow, the, the south you get, they're more darker skin than the north. You get, they'll be a little bit more lighter skin. Is there but, reasoning behind that? Like why? I don't know. Why. It's kind of like it's kind of funny because it's like the south there and the north. It's like it's sort of like how we are now. You know, like if you look at the northerners. For like we're European, uh huh, and then yeah, Saudi but I mean, I think that's just that's an evolutionary thing, probably something happened way before. So, like, um, is it is India? So, then what, what's another trip is like maybe India was just like like a collective, like, like, uh, the people that declared it to be India 
that's just borders, man. But like yeah, yeah, yeah. people are ethnically different in different areas, mm-hmm. you know, like, but they, yeah, everyone has different cultures. It, 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 like it, and there's so many religions too, right? It's, it's, it's a hub of, um, spirituality. Yeah. You can say that like the, uh, th- like India was open to other, even people that were getting persecuted in their countries, they were able to come in. Uh, oh, no way. Find sanctuary in India. Oh, isn't that why the Dalai Lama is in India right yeah, now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they like, have, yeah. Like, as, as a side note, if you're wondering what happened, so, like, he was... Also, like, the Zoroastrian religion, too. What's that? Uh, that was originated in, I think, Iran, but they were getting persecuted in Iran, and they were able to No way. Is, is there a reason why there's... Oh, wait, a uh, quick, quick side note, because uh, so, I like, finished that thought. Uh, so, the Dalai Lama was in Tibet. He went against the Chinese or something like that, and then they Oh, they got Tibet. invaded by the Chinese? Yeah, and, and then he was like, like being, uh, he was cast out. Uh, yeah, there, I don't exactly remember, but he had to, he had to leave in order yeah. to protect his. So life. he he sought asylum in India. Yeah. So now he's in India. Yeah, like, actually, yeah, when I was there too, um, I saw a lot of a lot of but this like Tibetan monks too. No way. Walking around with their red robes and stuff. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Which is kind of interesting to see. So it, is there like a culture clash there? No, I, 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 I don't think. Generally, no. Okay. Generally, no. I think people are more accepting of different different religions. So it's sort of like the Canada of Asia. Yeah. But oh, it, it, yeah, yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. Is is there a specific reason why it was so collectivist and like? I think it's 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 the the philosophy of the religion that was already there, which was the Hinduism, right? Oh, okay. Yeah, which, yeah. which is a lot more of. It, more open-mindedness and because they just believe that everyone else is an incarnation of their yeah yeah av- so like, like avatars exa- exactly so when when the British or maybe even before that like someone trying to bring Jesus I'm like yeah we'll just add to the rest of what we have oh so it's like it's like oh <laughs> he's just another Vishnu's avatar yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, or something like cool. that something like that yeah do you think the symbology is like that they they understand how ridiculous. All right, so okay, so there's this story of like, um, it's almost like if you if you seek out spirituality enough, you realize how crazy everything really is, mm-hmm. you know. So like, uh, there's this story I heard on uh, Joe Rogan, Duncan Trust was talking about uh, Ram Ram Dass's, um guru or something, and he he fed him like a huge dose of acid, right? Okay. And like uh, he like um, at first like he took the acid and then he like didn't show any signs of it, right? So then uh, he he go Ram Dass goes back to America and then he uh, like a few years later he comes back to India to the same Baba mm-hmm. and then he get, and he's like okay like I don't know if I actually gave you the acid or not so the the Baba is like all right just give me give me like tons of acid give me everything you got so he took it and then he went under the sheets and started acting like he was going crazy and then Ram Dass like oh crap like I just made this like old Baba go nuts right, right. I gave him way too much his mind snapped right mm-hmm. and then. Uh, the Baba comes out and he's laughing and he's like, he's like, this thing will bring you closer to God, but it's better to uh, leave God and become God than hang out with God. You know what I mean? Like, he's like, this is something we yeah. have. This is something very similar to what we have in India, already. You know what he said? Uh, no, or... the, the acid. Oh. something he's already experienced in India. Like they have yeah. something very similar to it, and it's like. Mm-hmm. Maybe like because they're so open and collective, it's only because they realize it's all like pathology. You know, mm-hmm. they're like it's all in your head, anyways. Like chill out, man. You know, <laughs> maybe I don't really know. Like, did did you? Because like it's like, why are they so inclusive and like collectivist? Sure, it could be that they're accepting of all, um, right? All uh, all cultures, but it yeah. could be that they're very like psychedelic. You know. Uh, they're not anymore. <laughs> no, no, of course, of course. Yeah, yeah, there's like a there's a divergent away from it because of the whole uh, so whatever is stream. left from that the remnants still exists. So, say. so you notice that there's a huge like uh, shift happening then. That like, it, it's funny how like uh, I was told this once that like there's east and west, right? And like ha ha and tha, right? Like yeah. uh, soft and hard, and like or just opposing energies, right? Uh-huh. So uh, at the time when India was very like so, like ha, then west was very tha. Right, and then now there's a shift. Right, you see like Western culture becoming super collectivist, and then through your stories, it's like uh, India is becoming more individualistic. So it's like there's always going to be like this polar shift in nature where it's like we're yeah, going yeah, towards yeah. one well, or the other. You know? Yeah, that's a made up thing. But of course, uh, if they see 
if the West is successful, people have money and they can spend on things. Well, that, uh, people want that too. For sure, no, I agree, agree. But then why is it that like the West is now going, oh, that's wrong, you know? Uh, it's gotta be like an amalgamation of like both, which is what we'll get into about Star Wars, yeah. uh, Jedi, Last Jedi and our uh-huh. next podcast coming up soon. <laughs> But yeah, uh, it's like it is a combination of the two. I I don't know. Like, what, what do you think? Yeah, maybe it's a balanced thing. Just it'll be going like that. True. Okay. Forever. Uh, do Do you wanna? Uh, so one thing that most people probably don't know about India is that it was started by the Aryans. No, India was not started by the Aryans. No, no. The the, the, the Hindu the, or the the Hinduism. Yes, I don't know how. Like some of it was started with bringing with the Aryan that's why there's a lot of similarities because with the Greek culture Latin culture even the but, language right but, but like I don't know how much exactly was the uh-huh. what they brought in because generally what happens when someone brings in a new religion they yeah. also adapt it to what's already existing yeah okay so that's what I'm saying like it's so f- f- in the past that we don't know what what was uh, how, what was f- Exactly given by the the artist. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So, so here's the trip. So I'm reading uh, this book. I finished reading uh, this book called uh, *Sapiens*. It's about like it's like you look at human beings as if they were an animal, as like um, as like a science, like mm-hmm. like objective science, right? Mm-hmm. And um, what they're saying is the Sanskrit religion, which is in India, it's got it's like uh, Sanskrit is a language. But yeah. It's a language, yeah. Yeah, you said religion. Yeah. No, I said, oh, okay, well, it's a language, yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and uh, uh, Latin, Greek, uh, Roman, and uh, well, the Roman comes after Greek. Yeah, it does. It does. I know when when he wrote that in the book, I was like, oh, well, of course it's a part of it because Rome came through Greece. But anyways, I'm just saying what he said in the book. But um, Rome, uh, sorry, Latin, Greek, and Sanskrit, uh, and oh. Sanskrit all have exact same similarities like mother is mater yeah, yeah. and like he was like oh this is like they're built off one another and then he realized like oh it must be traced back to this one race the aryans so that's what invented we yeah, the, that's what they the currently think that it, it's it's coming from something else so originated from somewhere else but exactly that yeah, we yeah. think is the aryan exactly exactly uh, the aryan people but we don't know like up more about the aryan people yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we which don't is, know anything about them. Which is really, yeah, exa- exactly, exactly. Which is really interesting because in the in the this other book that I read, like the history of the world, uh, they talked about how like the Aryans, like India was there, of course, but then the Aryans came and they helped influence the Hinduism that that cultivated there. Mm-hmm. You know, so like, who are these Aryan peoples? You know what I mean? And there, like, like uh, there's probably a lot of answers even in things because there's there's a place in India they used mm-hmm. to have the river doesn't exist anymore. It's, it's like because um, um, of global warming? No, 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 a long time ago. Oh, okay. Uh, could have been global warming a long time ago. True. Um, this is called the Saraswati River, which doesn't exist anymore, and they mm-hmm. found, like, all these um, foundations of homes that used to live there, and they found tablets oh, that we no still way. don't know what these what they mean. Awesome. Okay, okay. So it's it's funny that you say, like, um, the tablets, right? So uh, have you ever heard of the Kybalion? No. Uh, all right, so the Kybalion, which became like heuristics, which uh, people say it's like very like esoteric. It's um, the emerald tablets that came out of uh, Egypt. Uh-huh. So it's so emerald is very hard, right? So they carved the laws of nature into uh, these emerald tablets, and what they say is a lot of scientists actually derive their knowledge of science. So all right, so science is all right. So it's sort of like this: you come up with a theory, and then science helps prove it. Right? Right. Prove it or disprove it, you know, like, mm-hmm. whatever. It helps justify it. Okay? Mm-hmm. So, like, uh, you know, like, uh, things like, uh, uh, oh, what was it? As above, so below. Uh, like, all these, like, laws. Oh, uh, you know, like, um, Newton's, like, action-reaction? Yeah. This is, um, this is the most salient one I have in my mind. Um, action-reaction was in the Kybalion tablets, and Newton read those Kybalion tablets, and then he created his principles of nature off of those things, Mm -hmm. which is kind of funny, because it's like, science and spiritual, well, let's call the Kybalion spirituality, like, they didn't have the instruments we had. They had different instruments, but they didn't have the instruments we had. So modern technology and ancient technology merged together. It's like, it's the same thing. You know what I mean? So, like, when you're talking about these, like, tablets that, um, 
that were there but not deconstructed yet like they haven't found what it means it's like these sacred knowledges have been here for a really long time it's just these like maybe yeah. maybe it's like these spots on earth like so i know north america used to be covered in ice right mm -hmm. until it melted and then now we have what we have today right but like these places like india and like africa maybe they were just hubs on earth that that were able to sustain life for a while right and then it just evolved into what we have now like because of like global change mm -hmm. climate change right so it's like so what pieces are we missing and uh when you look at like plato's Plato stuff about like uh, the R uh, no no the uh, Atlanteans mm -hmm. and then uh, if you look at Graham Hancock's work on the Seven Sages uh, about like how there are seven seven people after the uh, calamity of Earth like right. they went on to like spread their knowledge to different worlds maybe these are the Aryans that everyone's talking about could be right because when when I read when I read the Aryan thing I'm like maybe that's all they're talking about like the Plato thing he's just talking about an advanced civilization which were the Aryans that yeah, spread yeah, yeah, across yeah. the globe mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, as, maybe they were going through the same findings. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, but they, again, they didn't have the technologies we have today to like figure it out. And like people who were like, "Oh, ancient technologies are better than modern day technologies." That's not true because how do we get into space and they're not in space? Right. So it's like not really. They had some different version of it, but mm -hmm. obviously they didn't make it out into space, or else we would find. Um, so then again, it's like, oh, how can we? We're not finding any remnants of them in space. Well. Uh, and then they're like, oh, it's because of decay, but nothing decays in space, right? Because there's no atmosphere yeah, to decay yeah, it. Yeah. So if they were, if they really made it into space atmosphere, then like we would have found it, right? You know what I mean? Like if we die <laughs> off, people are gonna find our spaceships. So no, ancient civilizations are not more high tech than us. They just knew different things. That's all. Yeah. yeah. No, I mean to say that they were dumb is also not right. Yeah, no, they weren't dumb. They knew what they knew on a different level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But just not the same level we know it at, right? Exactly, exactly. Like, they knew about, they knew about uh, atoms and stuff, but they didn't call them atoms. They called them, like, different things, mm -hmm. you know? Um, yeah. And again, like, so, like, uh, and then you, if you can't explain it, you give it to God, right? So, like, right, right, right. Like, fate, Indra's web, all these things are just, like, action, reaction, explained. But, you know... They, they just made it easier on themselves by calling it, like, God. Yeah. Um, as an interesting side note, uh, we do know that Hitler was looking for the Aryans. Uh, yeah. So that's... Oh, wait, we'll you read see. that somewhere? Or we do know that? D did we not know that? I thought that was the modern thing. He was looking for the Aryan race, right? The blue-eyed, blue-haired, blue-eyed, blonde... I don't know if that Blue-eyed, blonde. I don't know if he was looking or he was trying to make his race that race. Oh, really, eh? I don't know. Okay, I didn't know that. But it's interesting it that, was... like, he was actually looking at, like, okay, before you, like, blasphemize this whole thing, and you're like, oh, my God, he's such an evil person. Look at him as, like, a science experiment, again, not as a horrible person. Although, even if you want to say he's horrible, I heard Stalin was way better, way worse than Hitler, but nobody talks about Stalin. So, there you go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but anyways, so, or Genghis Khan, but, again... 10,000 years ago or a thousand years ago so people don't care anymore mm -hmm. you know it's only because it's like new in our very recent in our history yeah so like he's that's why he's kind of like, recent too though yeah he is but nobody talks about him because like uh, our major enemy in World War II was Hitler whereas Stalin was keeping it internally in, in Italy mm -hmm. he was just killing people um, but yeah so like it's interesting the symbology used by Hitler where it's like he's looking for like his his um, oh, what do you call that the symbol the swastika, the swastika is actually a sim is there what's the actual name for the swastika is it actually called the swastika still yeah oh okay so he just used the same so he just took the swastika and turned it on its side but it's like this is a power symbol of Japan and India yeah you know so it's and like, China and China so it's like so you are tapping into some sacred occult knowledge that <laughs> we don't know, like western society has demonized you know, if you actually look at like uh, this is where I first noticed it in Japanese anime or on like the temple, um, the pictures of Buddha, they'd have like the swastikas on them, mm -hmm. and I was like, oh, that's kind of weird. And then you look into it, and it's like, oh, it's because um, Hitler appropriated it. Yeah, yeah, that's that's a lot of the misconception, misunderstanding of it. Yeah, totally, totally. But since Hitler used it, then they all think it's evil. Exactly, exactly. And same with the Aryan race now. It's like, oh, they're, like, evil. Like, he's trying to create an Aryan race, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, but 
that is just like There's the a history that came of, out yeah, before us. Like, do your homework. Like, it's the Aryans are not a bad thing. It's just like it's something that was there that he's tapping into. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah, but things, uh, definitions change. Yeah. True. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Perception changes. Perception changes. Yeah. You just gotta be context. Is it con- Textual in what you're talking about, like explain exactly what you mean. For sure, yeah. Versus... Context is king. Yeah, no, no. Oh, that's so true, man. Like, context is so king because it's like you'll read something in like an ancient uh, text or whatever, and it'll say one thing, but it's like you only took that one sentence out of the whole thing. If you read the whole thing, like that sentence doesn't actually mean that. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like people pick and choose. That's why I'm so adamant about reading all that stuff. You know, like like what did they really mean? And, and translations too. I heard this. Uh, I heard this really good one as well. Uh, um, because of the way translations are, they don't think it was walk on water. It was walked by water. <laughs> you know, for Jesus? Yeah. yeah like, yeah. They're, they're like, they're like, oh, we might have gotten that one wrong. You know what was a trip? So, like, because, uh, like, I, I went to, like, church since I was, like, like young, but up until 26, something like that. But I remember when they were switching the Our Father. That tripped me out when they're like, they're like, okay, so now we're handing out these pamphlets of a more updated version of the Our Father, and I was like, I was asking my mom like, what, what the hell's going on? And then she's like, oh, they they fixed their translation. I'm like, wait, 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 they had to fix their translation. So how do we know this entire translation is correct then? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's like if you enter one ounce of, you know, doubt or incorrect piece of knowledge, then how can you justify the entire thing? Uh, well, yeah. I mean, we're only doing it to the best of our ability, right? Now. For sure. Once For sure. new evidence arises, things change. But that's that's also not true because then people stick to par- paradigms where it's like, you know, um, they're like, uh, evolutionary theory is not right because the Bible says it's 6,000 years old. Right. You know, but it's like, no, evolution suggests otherwise. Do you see, do you remember that thing when uh, Pope... Uh, Benedict, I forgot who it was. Like, or he's like the who's the Pope right now? Francis. Uh, yeah, yeah, Francis, Pope Francis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, he was like, uh, he was saying how if there were aliens or something like that, like who was like Francis? Or yeah, yeah, because they somebody asked him about like, oh, what if there are aliens? And he's like, well, science would just suggest well, uh, that they are like a part of God as well. Oh, you know? oh, it's oh. like, oh, you're just covering your base right now, bro. Because <laughs> like allegedly, according to God, there was only us in the universe. Right. And then he's just covering his base just in case. It's like, oh, what if we find aliens? Yeah, oh, well, well. They all, we always do that though. Every reflection too does that. You, you know what's it's you know what's a trip? I was watching this um, Gangs of New York. Oh man, amazing! If you haven't seen it, you totally gotta watch it. So mm-hmm. what what Gangs of New York is? It's like it's a movie about the gangs of New York and how how New York uh, was like propagated forward by gangs. Right. You know, which were so we think of gangs like you know the Bloods and the Crips right now, but before then were like the Irish and the. Um, the natives they call themselves the irish and the natives like the foreigners and the mm-hmm. uh the people and uh the interesting part about that is like uh as you watch the thing they're like oh you roman dogs and i was like roman dog like but then you forget that like britain came from rome and like and then he was saying to like leonardo dicaprio like um you uh you get everything you know from your pope back in rome and it's like oh like like, this is how the world was at a time. Like, we think of it like, oh, America is, like, the superpower. Like, you wake up. Uh, like, I firmly believe that you you only, like, realize your own reality. Like, you remember things when you hit, like, the age of 14. Because before 14, it's, like, all a blur. Mm-hmm. You know, after 14, it's, like, you can kind of start to remember things, right? Because your brain's more developed. Okay. Right? So uh, you think that America and, like, Canada, that's all you know, but then you forget that there's a whole history behind everything we already see. So when they said the whole Roman thing, I was like, oh, that's right, because as I was reading those history textbooks, it's like everything is like a – it's like a it's like a ripple in a pond. You know what I mean? Like, like uh, Egypt, Greece, and uh, India. Egypt, Greece, and India were the starters, right? And then from there – uh, Rome came out of Greece, yeah. and then from Rome came Britain, and then from Britain came USA. From USA came Canada, mm-hmm. right? But we're so focused on like the end of it because that's where we are in history that we forget that like no, like all of this is predicated on some false belief of a god that we don't even know is real, all because the Roman, the Romans conquered most of the earth, and they said that their pope is the 
the connector from God. Uh, yeah. It's a trip, uh, right? It's like when you when you have a bad foundation, your house is gonna be like, uh, cause you're you're in foundations, right? Your soils. Yeah. Right. So like, if you have bad soil, can you build a house on it? Mm-hmm. You gotta get the right soil. That's what I'm saying. You change the soil. Yeah, change the soil. <laughs> so like, it's like if you look back at history, it's like, wait, where do we come from? Oh, we came from like this belief system of like a deity that was there before science. And then even that that whole culture tried to – that's what the Dark Ages were. They tried to, like, burn everything because it's like, no, no, God is the number one. There's no – science is evil. There's a time when science was evil. So it's yeah. like how do you – how do we move forward with bad soil? You got to, like, replant the soil or, like, mm-hmm. become awake to the soil. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. It's interesting. I really want to get into Star Wars now. Mm-hmm. So maybe, maybe we'll uh, – I don't know how long this podcast was. This is a good comeback episode. Um but yeah, learn about your history, learn about your life. Stay tuned. We're gonna we're gonna pause this one and then we're gonna jump to Star Wars because that was a sick movie. Sure. Do you wanna you wanna last some, words? Yeah, last words. <laughs> last words. Uh, I don't um, I don't know, man. It was it was a good trip. I liked it. Nice. That's cool. Except for the last bit. Uh, are you being sick? Me being sick. Yeah, yeah. Um, would you recommend going to India? Recommend going? Yeah. Yeah, you know not? people like. But I mean, you should go everywhere, wherever you yeah, can. That's go. true too. Yeah, that's true too. I wonder if the only reason why people want to go to India and like it's coveted as like a spiritual place is because it was so old that. No, well, it is. It is. The, the the traditions are very old. That's what I'm saying. So it's like when people are like, oh, like you want to learn about spirituality, you got to go to India, and it's like, yeah, because that's the old, one of the oldest places on earth. Yeah. So it's like you're if you want to learn about some like woo woo BS, not BS, but like woo woo ness you know, like mm. new ageness. It's like, yeah, like let's just get rid of science and go to India where it's like a thousand years in the past, oh, like 10,000 years in the past where like, we're still believing in like, what was that thing you told me? There's like a paper God. I don't know, like there's a God for everything. And I made this joke. I was like, well, what if you step on paper? So like, yes, they started the paper. Oh, there's a paper God. <laughs> you know, it's like, there's a God, there's a God in everything. It's about, it's more about respecting everything. Yeah, exactly. But yeah. Uh, yeah, for sure, for sure. Actually, they should totally merge like Eastern and Western because if you learn to, that was the thing they said in, in Sapiens. Oh, this will trip you out. Um, in Sapiens, they said uh, factory farming all began because of religion. The second that people started saying that uh, man had dominion over nature and nature's here for us, they started seeing animals as products rather than living things. Mm-hmm. And that's when we, we boomed in our factory farming. Because we they they do these things where they like, um, they like castrate the bull right away, just so well they still do it. They castrate the bull so that it can't like certain sports. religions. Let's say that no, no no factory farming. No no I mean certain religions caused that. Oh yeah yeah, yeah of course yeah well one in particular where it's like <laughs> you have dominion over earth. I wonder yeah. where that comes from. <laughs> yeah. Or mis mis uh, mis uh, interpretation. I mean, that's what actually, you know what? If you actually look at the psychology behind it, Rome is a. Uh, is a money hungry civilization, right? Mm-hmm. And it's Roman Catholic, right? So the the guy Constantine, he was like, if you actually look at the um, the nature of Rome, it's very like uh, me, 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 right. you know. And like it's all about like gaining gaining things, right? And it's like, of course, that their religion that they would push, Roman Catholicism, Roman Catholicism, is that you have dominion over everything, mm-hmm. right? Because it's like. Yeah, why would you want equality? Because you want to dominate everything. Because that's naturally the Roman culture. Right. That's why I keep saying, like, after I came back from that five month trip, I was like, dude, we're just living this like Roman game, you know? Because it's like they literally spawned this whole pursuit. Like Greece wasn't like that, and um, India sounds like it's not like that because I haven't been to India, but I've been to Greece, and like. Uh, it's like the Romans were the ones that propagated like control and ruling, you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But anyways, Star Wars coming up next: control and ruling. We'll get into that. Oh yeah. Till next time. Next time. Take it easy. Bye bye. Bye.